digestive digestive system part two. إحنا أخذنا بال digestive system المحاضرة السابقة اللي قلنا ال gut tube راح يتكون من four parts اللي هي pharyngeal gut, fore gut, mid gut, hind gut. فور قط أخذنا من عدة جزء الأوسفيجس تحدثنا عنه تحدثنا عن الستومك واليوم راح نكمل المحاضرة نتحدث عن الديودينم ليفر أند بنكرياس وبعدها نكمل المحاضرة على الميد قط أند هند قط أوكي what is the duodenum It is the terminal part of the foregut and the cephalic part of the midgut will be formed the duodenum. Then who is the terminal part of foregut and cephalic part of the midgut will be formed the duodenum. Junction of these two parts will be formed the duodenum and this junction will be distal to the origin of the liver wood. تقريباً يكون هنا بعيداً عن الليفر بود. When stomach will be rotated احنا مثل ما كنا نعرف بالمحاضرة السابقة انه الستومك راح يصير لها rotation بحيث يصير هنا بايلوريك بارت ويصير هنا نكودال بارت الديودينم will be takes on the form of a C-shaped loop and rotate to the right then we are rotation of the stomach الديودينم راح ياخذ شكل حرف C وراح يكون rotation الى الجزء الجز الايمن to the right This rotation, together with rapid growth of the head of pancreas, will be swings the duodenum. خلي الجودينم يتأرجح المن from its initial midline position. We can على right side of the abdominal cavity. Then rotation of the stomach. راح تخلينا الجودينم يأخذنا شكل C shape. وبالنهاية بهذا ال rotation ما راح تخلي الجودينم يت يتأرجح يبتعد عن ال initial midline position ويروح على right side of the abdominal cavity. Fore gut will be supplied by celiac artery. Mid gut will be supplied by the superior mesenteric artery. While the duodenum will be supplied by the branches of the both arteries. هذه هي هنا اللي نذكره هنا الأوسفيجس هذه الاستومك. Terminal part of the fore gut. للستومك وهنا راح تكمل الليفر والبنكرياس والسيفالك بارت اوف ذا ميد جت ويل بي فورم ذا جودينم ذا جنكشن اوف ذيس تو بارتس ويل بي فورم ذا جودينم وير روتيت اوف ذا ستومك ذا جودينم ويل بي تيك ذا سي شيب شوفوا الشكل مالته شو يكون على حرف سي اند وذ روتيشن اوف ذا ستومك اند هيد اوف بنكرياس ويل بي At the end, the duodenum will be uh, become near to the right side of the abdominal cavity. Celiac artery, this celiac artery will be supplied the stomach, while the superior mesenteric artery will be supplied the mid gut. The duodenum will be supplied from both arteries. And then celiac artery supply to the stomach. Severe mesenteric artery supply of the mid gut, the duodenum will be get branches of both arteries supplied by branches of both arteries. This is the duodenum. It is a terminal part of the foregut, and cephalic part of the mid gut will be form the duodenum. Duodenum will be supplied by branches of both celiac artery and superior mesenteric artery. Celiac artery will be supplied the stomach. While superior mesenteric artery will be supplied in the mid gut, the duodenum will be supplied by branches of both arteries. With the rotation of the stomach, the duodenum will be take the C shape, form of C shape, and at the end will be become near to the right side of the abdominal cavity. Liver and gallbladder. Liver bromidium. The liver wood will be appears in the middle of the third week as an outgrowth of endodermal epithelium at the distal end of the foregut. This outgrowth, I can say, hepatic diverticulum or liver wood, and this is will be consist of cells, proliferating cells, that penetrate the septum transversum. Then the liver, now, for just a minute, the foregut, I say, hepatic diverticulum. Or a semi liver wood will be appear at middle of the third week, and will uh, there is a proliferating cell 
will be penetrate the septum transversum. The connection between liver bud, hepatic diverticulum, and forgot ileal will be narrows, will be form the bile duct. The bile duct cannot suffer. And then the connection robot between liver bud and the duodenum will be formed by a duct. A small ventral outgrowth is formed by bile duct, and this outgrowth is called gallbladder. And the cystic duct, either in the sar and the liver wood, hepatic diverticulum, connect with the duodenum by bile duct, and there is outgrowth, if a small ventral outgrowth, this is called, give rise to gallbladder and the cystic duct. Surface of the liver that is in contact with a future for a diaphragm is never covered by peritoneum. It is bar area of the liver. Nagina, peritoneum, Pahirati al Aba, first person is semi intra peritoneal, person is semi retro peritoneum. Now, liver, Pirati, the peritoneum, my idea is Sathi liver, surface of the liver. In contact with the future diaphragm is never covered by the peritoneum, and this is called bar area of the liver. There are abnormalities related to the liver and gallbladder, like accessory hepatic ducts. Duplication of the gallbladder are common, but are usually asymptomatic. Liver wood or a liver dive, hepatic dive, diverticulum will be formed at the uh, middle of third week as an outgrowth and consists of rapidly proliferating cell that penetrate the septum transversa. Hepatic diverticulum and forgot lihejudina will be connected by bile duct. There is a small ventral outgrowth formed by bile duct will be give rise to gallbladder and cystic duct. Surface of the liver in contact with the future diaphragm is never covered by the peritoneum, and this is called bar area of the liver. Abnormalities related to the liver wood are accessory hepatic ducts, duplication of the gallbladder are common and are usually asymptomatic. This is the stomach. This is the duodenum, usually duodenum, C-shape, and rotate with rotation of the stomach will be to the right side. Stomach will be supplied by celiac artery. While the stomach will be supplied by celiac artery. While the midgut will be supplied by superior mesenteric artery, a duodenum will be supplied by branches of both arteries. Liver wood, that is a surface of the liver, never covered by peritoneum, which is in contact with a future diaphragm. This is called bar area of the liver. And there is formation of the duct which is a bile duct connect between the liver and the duodenum. And this bile duct will be give rise to small ventral outgrowth, small ventral outgrowth. This give rise to gallbladder and cystic duct. Congenital abnormality may be accessory bile duct or maybe duplication of the gallbladder. These congenital abnormalities are common and are usually asymptomatic. We are repeat, we are talking about the sura wadha. Forget the terminal part and part of cephalic part of the midgut will be formed a duodenum. With the rotation of the stomach, the duodenum will be take the C-shaped stomach supplied by celiac artery. Mid gut will be supplied by superior mesenteric artery. A duodenum will be supplied of, by branches of both arteries. Liver and gallbladder will be formed the liver at middle of third week as 
hepatic diverticulum. There is an area of the liver, surface of the liver, never covered by peritoneum. This is called bar area of the liver. There is a connection between the liver and duodenum by bile duct, bile duct. And there is a small ventral outgrowth formed by bile duct will be called gallbladder. Congenital abnormalities related to the liver may be duplication of gallbladder or accessory bile duct. And these complications are common, but are usually asymptomatic. Answer with the true or false for, for the following statement. A duodenum is a connection between terminal part of the foregut and cephalic part of the hindgut. False. 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 Sahih. Sahih. Midgut. Cephalic part of the midgut. Duplication of gallbladder are common congenital abnormalities, but are usually asymptomatic. True. True. Yes, True. very good. True. Yes, very good. Very good. Bar area of the liver is a surface area of liver will be covered by peritoneum. False. 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 Never covered by peritoneum. Yes. Judinum will be supplied by branches of celiac arteries only. False. 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 Yes. 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 Mid gut will be supplied by branches of inferior mesenteric arteries. False. 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 Okay, we are continue to the parts of the foregut. Pancreas is formed by two boots. Pancreas is formed by two boots, dorsal and ventral. Dorsal and ventral, originating from endodermal lining of the duodenum. Whereas dorsal pancreatic boot is the, in the dorsal mesentery. Madame Annie Gill. دورزل و ventral بود. إذا الدورزل وين راح يكون؟ أكيد راح يكون إلى علاقة بالدورزل مزنتري على اسمه. والventral لازم يكون كلوز إلمن للventral مزنتري. فإذا هنا الدورزل بنكرياتيك بود is in the dorsal مزنتري. ventral بنكرياتيك بود is close to the bile duct. When the duodenum rotates to the right, إحنا مقولنا راح يصير rotation بالاستومك. بنفس الوقت راح يصير rotation بالدودينم وراح يصير الشكل مالته C shape. في الventral pancreatic بود أيضا راح تتحرك وين dorsally in a manner similar to the shifting of the entrance of the bile duct. Finally, the ventral bud will becomes to lie immediately below and behind the dorsal bud. هذا هو الشكل هنا. هذه هنا stomach. وهنا اللي موجود عدي اللي بنكرياس هذه جول بلادر هذه اللي هنا موجودة بايل دكت وهنا الليفر بود وهذا الجزء الأخير اللي هو الجودينا راح تتكون عندنا هنا الفنترال بنكرياتيك بود عن دورزال بود إذن في البداية الدورزال بود راح يكون بالدورزال مزنتري والفنترال بود وين راح تكون هنا قريبة عالية من على البايل دكت زين شوفوا هذه هي البايل دكت هي بلو ذا بايل دكت لكن لما يصير روتيشن للستومك ويصير ديفلوبمنت اوف ذا فيتس ايش راح يصير بالفنترال راح تصير هنا تحت الدورزا الفنترال بنكرياتيك بود راح يصير هنا مو روتيشن من راح يصير روتيشن راح تصير تحت الدورزا بنكرياتيك بود هذه هي البايل دكت اللي هي تربط بين الليفر وبين الجوجينا هذه هي الجول بلادر زين وهنا أنا اللي صارت الدورزا بنكرياتيك بود والفنترال بنكرياتيك بود اذا البنكرياس فورمد فروم Two bud, dorsal and ventral. At beginning, the dorsal will be in the dorsal mesentery. The ventral will be in the below the bile duct. With the rotation of the stomach, show how the rotation of the stomach, the rotation of the duodenum, the pancreatic, the ventral will be become below the dorsal pancreatic bud. 
in the third month of fetal life شوفوا third month بالشهر الثالث احنا كان كل كلامنا على third week هسه ويا development بالشهر الثالث بنكرياتك ازلت of linger hands will be developed اذا بنكرياتك ازلت هاي الجزر بنكرياتك ازلت of linger hands ايش وقت راح تتكون هنا تتطور بالthird month of fetal life will be for parenchymatous بنكرياتك تشو and scatter through the pancreas Insulin secretion will be begins approximately at fifth month. Then, in the fourth month, it formed pancreatic acid of Langerhans. In the fifth month, there was secretion of insulin. Glucagon and somatostatin secreting cells also develop from parenchymal cells. We are repeat. Pancreas at middle or at beginning will be formed from two bud. Dorsal pancreatic wood and dorsal mesentery, ventral pancreatic wood below the bile duct. With the rotation of the stomach and the duodenum, the ventral pancreatic wood will be become below the dorsal pancreatic duct. يعني ابن نفس الجانب راح تكون. عادة هنا في third month of fetal life راح يصير عدي يتطور pancreatic acid of Langerhans. Pancreatic acid of Langerhans. شرح الانسولين سكريشن شو وقت راح يكون بال 5th month بالشهر الخامس بعدها راح يصير جلوكاكم سوماتوستاتين ايضا راح يصير هنا ديفلوبد فروم بارنكايمال سيلز اوكي وي ار ريبيت ذيس از ذا جت تيوب فرنجيال جت تيوب بعدين عندنا هنا الفور جت تيوب اللي راح كان الفنترال بورشن هو الريسبيراتوري وتكلمنا عليه محاضره كامله بعدها الدورزال بورشن كان الاوسيفاجس اللي هو راح يكون شورت بعدها هنا تكلمنا عن الاستومك وتكلمنا هنا عن الديودينا اللي هي الكونكشن بين التيرمينال بارت اوف فور جت اند سيفاليك بارت اوف ذا استومك بعدها هذه هي البنكرياس هنا هذه البنكرياس اللي راح تكون هنا دورزال او فنترال بنكرياتيك بود والفنترا راح تكون بلو ذا دورزل والسبب بسبب الروتيشن اوف ذا ستومك راح يصير هذا التغيير هنا هذه اللي عندي هنا موجوده هذه البايل دكت اللي هي راح تربط بين الليفر وبين الديودينا البايل دكت راح يتكون عندي سمول فنترال اوت جروث سميتها جول بلادر عندي كونجنتال ابنورماليتيز ريليتد تو ذيس كونديشن مي بي دبليكيشن اوف ذا جول بلادر or accessory bile duct and these congenital abnormalities are common but are usually asymptomatic. The liver will be uh, developed on the right side of the stomach on the left side of the stomach on the left side of the surface area of the liver will be not never covered by peritoneum and this is called bar area and this is in contact with the future diaphragm. بالنسبه للبنكرياس The insulin will be released at uh, or approximately will be formed uh, secreted at fifth month, while pancreatic uh, acid of Langerhans will be formed at third month, and glucagon somatostatin will be formed from parenchymatic tissue. Okay. Write uh, or uh, answer with uh, true or false for the following statement. For the following statement, pancreas is formed by three buds. False. False. Yes. Two buds. The ventral bud comes to lie immediately below and behind the dorsal pancreatic bud after rotation of the stomach. True. 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 بعد الروتيشن يا الله لكن في البداية وين لا البداية كان الدورزل بالدورزل بنكرياتيك والفنترال كان هنا از كلوز تو ذا بايل دكت يس اوسيفيجس از ا بارت اوف ذا ميد جات فولس از ا بارت اوف ذا فور جات يس فارنجيال جات از امبورتنت فور ذا هيد اند نيك فورميشن اوف هيد اند نيك فرنجيال قط ترو بالمحاضرة السابقة قلنا الفرنجيال قط مشكلة ويا من الديفلوبمنت ويا الهيد اند نيك لكنه بالفور قط بدينا الفنترال بورشن اوف ذا فور قط شنو كان تكون الريسبيراتوري سيستم لكن الدورزال بورشن كان هو الاوسيفيكس بعدها بدينا شنو تكون عندنا الستومك 
greater curvature of the stomach is faster in growing than lesser curvature. To the true. 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 Yes. yes, very good. Now, the whole greater curvature is faster in development than a lesser curvature. Mesentery will be divided into dorsal mesentery and ventral mesenteries. True. True. هذا الدورزال ميزنتري وهذا الفينترال ميزنتري فقط شوفوا هذا اللي مخطط الوردي وباللي الخط الأسود هذا دورزال ميزنتري لكن هذا شنو أسمي فينترال ميزنتري فإذا يتقسم إلى قسمين The benefit of mesenteries is a pathway for vessel, lymphatic, nerve, true or false True. True. إنه هي ممر ممر لللمف وللبلاد هذا الميزنتريز Yes, very good Ventral mesentery will be divided into lesser omentum and false form ligament. By liver foot. Liver foot. Ventral at after rotation of stomach, ventral pancreatic wood will be become behind and below the dorsal pancreatic wood. D, all of the above. D, all of the above. All of the above. خلينا ننتبه على الكلام مالتنا. إحنا قلنا البنكرياس. أول كلمة قلت أول جملة بالأي قلنا form of from two wood. صحيح. بعدها النقطة B قلت the insulin secretion from the At the fifth month, صحيح. النقطة الثالثة قلت ventral pancreatic wood وين هنا أنا after rotation of stomach وين صار below and behind of the dorsal pancreatic wood هنا dorsal pancreatic wood وهنا جوا اللي موجود ventral pancreatic wood. إذا C هم صحيحة فإذا بالنتيجة A صحيحة B صحيحة D C صحيحة إذا D أنا إيش قايلة all of the above إذا اختيار الصحيح إيش راح يكون all of the above. Bilateral stenosis is a congenital abnormality related to the mid gut. True or false? Bilateral stenosis is a congenital abnormality related to the mid gut. False. 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 بعدني بالفورقط ما رحت على المدقط ولا رحنا على الهندقط فذن هنا related okay esophageal atresia is a complication of stomach false false لل esophagus لل esophagus we start with other part of the gut tube which is midgut in the fifth week of embryo development, the midgut is suspended from the dorsal abdominal wall by short mesentery and communicate with yolk sac by way of the vitiline duct or yolk sac. نذكر إحنا بالمحاضرة السابقة قلنا كل أجزاء الفورقات راح تنفصل عن الجزء الوحيد اللي يبقى communicate ويا اليوك ساك هو المدقط. وش راح يكون ارتباط عن طريق vitiline duct أو سميته yolk sac. فإذن الميد قط suspended from the dorsal abdominal wall by short mesentery and communicate with the yolk sac by way of the vitiline duct or yolk sac. In the adult, the mid gut begins immediately distal to the entrance of the bile duct into the duodenum and terminate at the junction of the proximal two thirds of a transverse colon with the distal third. إذن حدود الميد قط منين راح تبدينا؟ راح تبدينا immediately When the entrance of the bile duct into the duodenum, نذكر هنا قلنا ال bile duct اللي هي تربط بين الليفر وبين ال duodenum. فيقول هذا الجزء بالإن بدخول ال bile duct لل duodenum هذا يعتبر من ال forgot من ال mid gut. فإذا in the adult the mid gut begins immediately distal to the entrance of the bile duct into the duodenum. 
and terminate when Rahinti at the junction or robot of the proximal two thirds of the transverse colon with the distal third. هنا سنجي للكولون راح يتقسم إلى distal third و transverse third وأيضا عندنا هنا proximal third فال junction of the proximal two third of the transverse colon with distal third هذا ال junction راح يتوقف المدقط we are repeat at fifth week of development in fifth week of development the midgut is suspended from the dorsal abdominal wall by short mesentery and communicate with the yolk sac by vitiline duct or yolk sac. Midgut will be immediately begins distal to the entrance of the bile duct into the duodenum and terminate at the junction of a proximal two thirds of the transverse colon with the distal third. Development of midgut will be characterized by rapid elongation of the gut. Then here development is rapid elongation of the gut tube and its mesentery, resulting in formation of a primary intestinal loop. This is the stomach. Here is duodenum. Here is the entrance of the bile duct. The midgut is going to begin immediately distal to the entrance of bile duct into the duodenum. So from here, we start the midgut. This is the part of the midgut. Which is what will be attack the main yolk sac. It will communicate with the yolk sac on the direction of the vitiline duct. This is the vitiline duct. Okay? Then the midgut will be begins immediately distal to the entrance of bile duct into the duodenum. Still attack to the yolk sac يوك ساك باي فيتيلاي دكت اور يوك ستاك بعدين وين راح ينتهي لهنا راح يوصل لهذا المكان وهنا ينتهي اللي هي الجنكشن اوف ذا بروكسيمال تو ثيرد اوف ذا ترانسفيرس كولون وذ ذا ديستال ثيرد اوف ترانسفيرس كولون وذ ديفلوبمنت اوف ذا امبروش راح يصير الونجيشن من الى الجت تيوب الونجيشن من يصير الونجيشن هنا ايش راح يصير عندي هنا راح يصير برايمري انتستينال لوب هذه primary intestinal loop. هذا هو the primary intestinal loop. We are repeat. The midgut at fifth week of development will be start. The midgut will be begins immediately distal to the entrance of bile duct into the duodenum and reach to the junction of a proximal two third of a transverse colon with the distal third of colon. Midgut is still. Stay connect or communicate with yolk sac by vitiline duct or yolk sac. With development, there is elongation of the gut tube for a primary intestinal loop. Hadiya, primary intestinal loop. Hada the primary intestinal loop. Rah ykun bi jizin jiz aala asami cephalic limb. Cephalic limb. W jiz al asfal hada shi asami caudal limb. Caudal limb. إذن هذا السيفالك لم وهنا عندي كودر لم At its apex the loop remains in open connection with the yolk sac by the way of narrow vitiline duct هذا هو الانتستانال لوب الابيك هذا يبقى connect ويا الفتيلين by vitiline duct connect with yolk sac لكن هذا الجزء أعلى سمي سيفالك وهذا الجزء الأسفل سمي كودر سيفالك لم of the loop develops into شرح يطيني هذا مهم عندي سفالك لم شرح يطين will be developed into distal part of the duodenum هذا هو distal part of the duodenum بعد شطيني duodenum and part of the ileum إذن سفالك لم of the intestinal loop will be given to the following distal part of the duodenum duodenum and part of the ileum جزء من الاليوم while caudal limb becomes the lower portion of the ileum. شرح يسوي لهنا the lower portion. هذا the upper portion of the ileum للسفالك لم. لكن the lower portion of the ileum راح يكون إلمن إلى the caudal portion of the intestinal loop. بعد شرح يكون سيكم appendix ascending colon and the proximal two third of the transverse colon and the proximal two third of the transverse colon. We are repeat the midgut at fifth week of development will be begins immediately distal to the entrance of bile duct into the duodenum to the junction of the proximal two third of transverse colon 
to the third distal part of the colon. With development, there is elongation of intestinal or gut tube will be formed a primary intestinal loop. This loop at apex will be connected with yolk sac by vitiline duct. And the upper portion is cephalic limb, lower portion is caudal limb. Cephalic portion, the upper portion, will be give rise to terminal part of the duodenum, to the duodenum, and to the part of the ileum. While caudal portion will be give rise to the caudal portion or lower portion of the ileum, to the ascending colon, appendix, junction of two thirds of the transverse colon, and to the cecum. the primary intestinal loop. Okay. Answer with the true or false for the following. The gut tube is formed from pharyngeal gut, foregut, midgut, and hand gut. The gut tube is formed from pharyngeal gut, foregut, midgut, hand gut. True, true or true. false? True. 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 Yes, very good. Lung and trachea will be developed a dorsal portion of the foregut. False. 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 Ventral portion. False. Ventral false. portion. Yes, Ventral portion. Midgut is the only part of the gut tube will be still connected with yolk sac by vitiline duct. Is true, true, true. True, yes, very good. Mid-gut will be start from the begin immediately distal to the entrance of the bile duct to the duodenum and will be reached to the junction of the two-thirds of the transverse colon to the distal third of colon. True, true, true. Yes. With development, there is elongation of the gut. Mid-gut will be elongation and form a primary intestinal loop. True. True. Cephalic limb and caudal limb of the primary intestinal loop, while the apex of this loop will be connected to the yolk sac by vitiline duct or yolk stack. True. 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 طلابنا المادة كلها تقدرون تقرونها على يعني لما تقرونها كلها على الرسم لأن كلش تبقى ببالكم ما راح تنسوها شوف هذا هي الميد جات هاي ويا الالونجيشن سويت لي برايمير انتستينال لوب هذا مأشرين عليه إحنا سيفالك لمبي وهنا كودال لمب وعدة الأبكس الأبكس هو الجزء الوحيد اللي يبقى كونكت المن لليوك ساك عن طريق الفيتيلان دكت أو يوك ستاك ذا سيفالك لمب Cephalic limb will be give rise to the duodenum, while caudal limb of primary intestinal loop will be give rise to the cecum. True. True, yes. Here we have the duodenum, we have the terminal part of the duodenum, we have the part of the ileum. But here we have the part of the ileum, and we have the cecum, appendix, and we have the cecum, and we have the junction of the transverse colon. Yes. هذا هو اللي transverse colon. هذه transverse colon. هذه هنا أنا ال ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon. هسا هم راح نتحدث عن هذه يا cecum. اللي هو راح منين تجينا cecum? A derivative of caudal portion of a primary intestinal loop. During the sixth week, the loop grows so rapidly that it protrudes into the umbilical cord. And this is called physiological hernia. هذا الانتستينال لوب هنا اللي قلنا primary intestinal loop اللي راح يعطينا هذا الأجزاء primary intestinal loop. شافوا إنه بالأسبوع السادس راح يصير النمو إلى سريع. The loop grows rapidly. Protrude element لل umbilical cord سميت له physiological hernia. لكن بالأسبوع العاشر will be returned into the abdominal cavity. هذا الهرنية الفسيولوجية الهرنية راح ترجع على الوضع الطبيعي. While these processes are occurring, بينما هذا اللي جاي يصير هذه البروسس, the mid gut loop rotate 270 degree. 
counter clockwise. Remainage of vitiligo induct failure of the mid gut return to the abdominal cavity, mal rotation, stenosis, and duplication of part of the gut are common mid gut abnormalities. And then, in the second step, it will be herniation of the intestinal loop into the umbilical cord. سميتها فيسيولوجيكال هرنيه لكن هذا الفيسيولوجيكال هرنيه راح ترجع للوضع الطبيعي في الاسبوع العاشر اذا هذه فيسيولوجيكال نوت باثولوجيكال بعض الاحيان يصير عندي كونجنتال ابنورماليتيز ويا الروتيشن اوف ذا انتستينال لوب هذا الروتيشن تعتبر هي الابنورماليتيز تعتبر ريليتد الم للميد جات كومن ميد جات ابنورماليتيز مثل شنو عندي مثل عندي ما روتيشن اوف ذا ميد جات عندي ستينوسيز يصير هنا اوف بارت اوف ذا جت، دبليكيشن اوف بارت اوف ذا جت، او يكون هنا أنا فيلير اوف ذا ميد جت تو ريتين تو ذا ابدومينال كافيتي، مو قلنا احنا بالاسبوع السادس تتكون فيسيولوجيكال هرنيه، لكنه بالاسبوع العاشر راح ترجع لطبيعي، فممكن يصير هنا فيلير بانه ما راح ترجع للوضع الطبيعي، هاي تعتبر كومن كونجنتال ابنورماليتيز اوف ذا ميد جت. اوكي. We are repeat. Right, uh, answer a true or false for the following statement. Cephalic portion of the primary intestinal loop will be give rise to the following terminal part of the duodenum, duodenum, and part of the ileum. Alaras. Hade. Cephalic portion of the primary intestinal loop. But ni juz emnien ni terminal part of the duodenum. Hada juz kulla asami duodenum. Wehna portion of the ileum. While the caudal portion, shrah tatin al caudal portion of the primary intestinal loop. Tatin al caudal portion of the ileum. Kemmel. Wya cecum. أيضا ويا الاسندينج كولون إلى أن يوصل المن إلى الجنكشن أوف ذا تو ثيرد أوف ترانسفيرس كولون أوكي فينترال ميزنتري فينترال ميزنتري is divided into two parts by duodenum Of course. Divided by? Divided by? Liver bud. Divided by? Liver bud. Liver bud. This is liver bud. Ventral mesentery. إلى لسر أومنتم وفالس فورم لقمت لكن مو تقسمه بسطة لجودينم هذا يا لجودينم ما إلى علاقة لكن اللي قسمها هو شنو اللي فربود yes بنكرياس and جودينم are parts of the hind gut false false are parts parts of the mid gut parts of the mid gut gall bladder is a small dorsal outgrowth of bile duct. Gallbladder is a small, صحيح small. False. Yeah, ventral. Outgrowth من ال bile duct. لكن أنا إيش قلت؟ Dorsal. هي ventral. شوفوها للداخل. هي راح تكون هنا. Ventral. Yes, very good. Bar area. Is a part of the pancreas never covered by a peritoneum? False. False. Liver. The liver. Bar area of the liver. It is surface of the liver. Physiological hernia will be started at fourth week of development and relieved at ten week of development. فورس فورس شو وقت صار؟ فورس سكس ويك السادس لكنه بعدين رجعت للطبيعي شو وقت؟ الاسبوع العاشر مال روتيشن مال روتيشن اند ستينوسيز اند دبليكيشن اوف بارتس اوف ذا جت ار كومن ميد جت اب نورماليتيز ترو ترو 
True. We start with the last part of the gut tube, which is hind gut. Last part of the gut tube, which is the hind gut. Hind gut will be give rise to the distal third of the transverse colon. احنا قلنا بالميد جات وين توقفنا؟ بالجنكشن اوف ذا بروكسيمال تو ثيرد ويا الديستال ثيرد. من الديستال ثيرد اوف ترانسفيرس كولون، ديسيندي كولون، سيجمويد، ركتم اند ابر بارت اوف ذا انال كانال. اذا الهند جات شنو مكوناتها؟ ديستال ثيرد اوف ذا ترانسفيرس كولون، ديسيندي كولون، سيجمويد، ركتم اند ابر بارت اوف ذا انال كانال. The endoderm of the hind gut also forms the internal lining of the bladder and urethra. Terminal portion of the hind gut will be enters to the posterior region of the cloaca, which is primitive in a rectal canal. The lintus enters into the anterior portion, the primitive urogenital sinus. Then the hind gut, which is the last part of the gut tube, give rise to the distal third of the transverse colon. Descend colon, ascend colon, rectum, and upper part of the anal canal. Hind gut is a last part of the gut tube, give rise to the distal third of the transverse colon, and descend colon, sigmoid, and ascend colon, last part of the transverse colon, descend colon, and sigmoid, and cloaca. مثلنا الهند قط. upper part of the anal canal. terminal portion of the hind gut will be enters into the posterior portion. راح يصير عندنا anorectal canal. والانتوس will be enter the anterior portion will be form urogenital sinus canal. anorectal canal. والانترنس to the posterior region of the cloaca while alintus enters into the anterior portion will be uh, from the primitive urogenital sinus. هنا اللي عندنا هاي الـ 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 الصورة اللي مطيناها على الهند قط هنا هذه الكويكا وهنا الالنتوس اللي تمثل لنا urogenital sinus a primitive of the urogenital sinus البرينيال بودي urogenital membrane هنا راح تكون بليدر وهنا راح يصير عندنا انوركتال كنال. The cloaca itself is an endoderm lined cavity. إذا لما نجي على الكلويكا راح نقول شنو معنى الكلويكا؟ هي endoderm هذه إياها هنا الرسم هذا endoderm lined tube. شوف هذه مسدودة النهاية مالته. endoderm lined cavity. Cloaca itself is an endoderm lined cavity covered at its ventral boundary by surface ectoderm. Then هو عبارة عن cavity. The lining مالته راح يكون endoderm لكن اللي يغطي ectoderm. Cloaca itself is an endoderm lined cavity covered at its ventral boundary by surface ectoderm. This boundary between endoderm and ectoderm form a cloacal membrane. Cloaca is endoderm lined cavity covered at its ventral boundary by surface ectoderm. Boundary between endoderm and ectoderm will be formed cloacal membrane. At the end of the seventh week, the cloacal membrane ruptures. نهاية الأسبوع السابع cloacal membrane شي يصير rupture, creating anal opening for the hind gut and ventral opening for the urogenital sinus. Between the two, the tip of urorectal septum forms the perineal body. We are repeating. Cloaca is endoderm lined cavity. Endoderm lined cavity covered by ventral ectoderm. Boundary between endoderm and ectoderm form cloacal member. نهاية الأسبوع السابع وليس البداية. At end of the seventh week, cloacal member rupture. شرح ينطينا. Creating anal opening of the for the hind gut, ventral opening for the urogenital sinus. Between these two, راح يتكون عندنا septum. اسمي uro rectal septum. Uro lead uro genital. The rectal element is the 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 anal opening. فصار uro rectal septum will be forms the perineal body. Upper part of the anal canal, اللي هي two third, is derived from endoderm of hind gut. While the lower third, lower part, the one third, is derived from ectoderm. 
around a procto geom. Procto geom. Procto geom. We are repeating. Cloaca is aligned. This is the cloaca. Is lined. Endoderm cavity covered by ectoderm. At seventh week, boundary between ectoderm and endoderm will be formed the cloacal membrane. At the end of the seventh week, rupture of the cloacal membrane. Fashrahi said the ventral portion will be formed urogenital sinus. Like no dorsal portion, Shrahi could metal in the anal portion, had the anorectal canal. In between will be formed the perineal body. Then had the nan cloacal membrane at the end of the seventh week. Mem sar rupture sar the ventral portion, Shatani, urogenital. ممبرين أو ساينس. هنا شرح طاني الانوركتال كنا واللي بينهم راح يصير بريني البيض. and the upper part of the anal canal will be derived from endoderm while the lower part will be derived from the ectoderm. upper part endoderm and lower part ectoderm. what are the congenital abnormalities related to the hind gut? Abnormalities in the size of the posterior region of the cloaca shift to the entrance of the anus anterior lateral fistula and atresia. And then abnormalities are not correct to vaginal or correct to urethral fistula and atresia. Even other complications or abnormalities like imperforate anus occurs when the anal Membrane fails to break down. Anal membrane fail to break down. This is will be called imperforate anus. We are repeat. The hind gut is the last part of the gut tube. Will be give rise to the distal third of the transverse colon, descending colon, sigmoid colon, sigmoid. Rectum and upper part of the anal canal. Now, sigmoid will ascending with distal part of the transverse colon. We add here sigmoid. Then, and then here the anal canal. This is what we get. The hind gut. Terminal portion of the hind gut will be enters into the posterior region of the cloaca. This is what we get. Primitive in anal. Anorectal canal, a primitive anorectal canal. The cloaca is the lined endoderm, lined cavity, covered by ectoderm. The boundaries between endoderm and ectoderm will be formed cloacal member. At the end of seventh week, rupture of the cloacal member. Ventral portion will be formed urogenital sinus. Dorsal portion will be formed the anal canal. In between will be formed the perineal body. What are the congenital abnormalities related to the uh, hind gut? There are rectovaginal and rectourethral fistula and uh, atresia, imperforate anus, imperforate anus. The upper part of anal canal, مهم إنه derived from endoderm, while the lower part, the one third, is derived from ectoderm. Okay. Answer with uh, true or false for the following statement related to the hind gut. Cloaca is endoderm lined cavity covered by ectoderm. True, true or true. True. true? true. The boundaries between endoderm and ectoderm is called oropharyngeal membrane. False. 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 Gut, gut tube will be started from oropharyngeal membrane to the cloacal membrane. True. True. محاضرة سابقة. Oropharyngeal membrane to the cloacal membrane. Yes. At end of ten week of development, cloacal membrane will be ruptured. False. False. At the end of seven. Seven. Rupture of the yes. Rectovaginal and rectovaginal atresia and fistula are common abnormalities related to the hind gut. 
True, true. Vaginal uh, 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 and rectal urethral fistula and atresia. Yes. And perforate anus is a complication, is a congenital abnormalities occurs when oropharyngeal membrane fail to break down. False. Anal membrane. Anal membrane. False. Anal membrane. Yes, very good. Shukran jazilin. لاستماعكم وعدكم ملاحظة إن شاء الله المحاضرة هاي سهلة المحاضرة السابقة هم كانت وياه وإذا عندنا سؤال بنصة محاضراتي وياكم إن شاء الله موفقين شكرا جزيلا